You are tuned in to Kids in the Pit. Hey guys, it's Gabe from the Kids in the Pit podcast. Today I'm joined by, how do you say your name? Sig. How do you say your name? Kiara. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, it's Gabe from the Kids in the Pit podcast. Today I'm joined by Sig and Kiara. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, from the Norwegian hardcore punk band, uh, Draumad. That's pretty good, yeah. Draumad. <laughs> okay. Here in Oslo, Norway. Uh, thanks for letting me both interview um, you. Wait, wait. Okay, what do each of you do in Draumar? I play the bass. Cool. Yeah. And I sing. Bam, bam, bam. Hmm? Bam, bam, bam. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. To, that's Kiara's. Uh, <laughs> yep. There's a lot of slap in the bass there. <laughs> yep. So, how long has Draumar, this is going to be hard to say, uh, Draumar been a band? I think we started yeah. like early 2020. It was like um, yeah. pandemic times at least. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Something to fill our times with. Oh, so, yes. <laughs> have you played shows in any other countries? And if so, where is your favorite place you've played in Nor uh, in somewhere else? Uh, we played in Denmark, in Sweden, and Norway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with this band. Uh, and I yeah. But I think like uh, I guess we mm. both played a lot of a lot of different places with our other bands yeah. before. Mm. Um, I mean, yeah. And we're going to Germany in a couple of. Uh, couple of weeks. Mm. But I think like my favorite place to play in Europe might be like uh, like Eastern Europe is uh, a lot of fun and you know, like Balkans stuff like that. Mm. Cool. Yeah. What yeah. about you? Do you have like oh. favorites? <laughs> oh. Favorite spots? So hard to choose. <laughs> so hard to yeah. choose. <laughs> um, I would say probably I, I played at a boat in uh, France actually once which was oh, really wow. cool. <laughs> yeah. Did you play bass or did you play something else or? Then I play. Yeah, I also played a bass nice. and sang, but that was a cool experience. <laughs> cool. I played so. on a boat in the Netherlands <laughs> once, and it was not a cool experience. I mean, no. like it was a it was a good gig, but they just kept mm. asking us to turn the volume down because it was just like it was like a tourist boat. It it wasn't oh. supposed to be a punk show there. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. It was. Uh, I was fun though. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's fun to play shows at. Boats, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boats. Mm. So, what drama song should someone look up? Mm. Good, Good question. question. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think they should, because we o have only put out one EP, and let's face it, it's not that long, because it's like six mm. tracks of hardcore punk. So, I think they should probably just check out the whole EP. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, do you have a do you have a favorite song? shifts very often yeah i don't know <laughs> i think well, just the same them all. yeah i love them all in their own way yeah nice yeah. we have an ep <laughs> called the krieg that is uh, out on bandcamp and vinyl mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah spotify and youtube mm -hmm. nice all, all of the Everywhere. channels <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so uh how old were you when you attended your first punk show and what bands played i think i was maybe uh 13 i think mm -hmm. And I think I was I was seeing this really old Norwegian band called Backstreet Girls. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it was yeah. But I I don't really remember the show or the I just remember that I was there and I was very young and but it was really fun and also I felt cool that I were able to go to shows and yeah. Cool. Well, um, mm -hmm. What about you? I I mean I had a bit of an opposite sort of situation because I grew up in it tiny village only how like 400 people living there oh wow and so we just we just didn't have any punk shows mm. um and we didn't have any metal shows either we, like i mean we didn't have any shows period to be honest yeah. uh so i i think I, like i didn't see my first punk show before i moved to oslo when i was 19. Uh, mm -hmm. but the first punk show i went to then um that was a band called kill with like three l's and it's mm. sort of like oh. some kind of like electro noisy punk uh, influenced sort of situation with like a lot of strobes and lights and so that i mean that was pretty cool and then um that was a blitz that is uh, the autonomous youth house in oslo so i just kind of like dived into the scene and never came back i suppose <laughs> cool uh so what does draumar mean uh it just means dreams yeah cool yeah 
It's a very cute name for a it's evil a band. Yeah, but it's also like, you know, <laughs> dreams can be a lot of things. Nightmare, Dickens, that's terrors. That's but, it, but it's also, yeah, I, I agree, it's quite cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought that long. <laughs> so, uh, what are some of your favorite brands? Uh, Do you want to go first? For me, uh, it really depends on uh, what my hyper focus is on. So right now it's, hmm, I'm listening a lot to this, uh, uh, I don't remember the name right now, but I think it's called Parasite, but with Japanese letters. So oh, cool. I don't, I, I don't speak Japanese, unfortunately, but uh, uh, yeah. Nice. Parasite, I think. Cool. And uh, that was a hard question. <laughs> um, you want to, you can think which about I, it for a while. Yeah. Then um, I can... Uh, I had also been thinking about it for a while, but then I, I was could like, be like name dropping all my bands. And yeah, then like to, you know, I, I, I yeah. haven't thought that much about it. But I think like um, um, mm. I, I listen a lot to Chain Whip right now, and I, mm. I guess like I have for the past couple of years. So they're definitely on top of my list. And I love Electric Chair, mm. um, and I love Muro and Utsi and Desendriason Violenta is definitely yeah, yeah. one of my mm. like favorite European bands right now. What did now. you say? I, all I heard was obviously, I, I, all I <laughs> picked up was something ah. Uh, I yeah. mean, to be honest, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked that I've learned to pronounce that band mm. name. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not 100% mm. sure that I have it right, but it's called Desintegración Violenta. It's yeah, the, I'm not even going to try. No, nah, <laughs> exactly. It's, like, it's a German band, but uh, there are, like, I guess there are some Swedes and some Colombians, probably some Germans as well. Uh, mm. Playing in the band, so it's uh, Spanish. Oh, mm. uh, but it, I mean, it's it's a really really cool band, and mm. uh, I mean, other than that, have you guys heard Lotion? Oh yeah, that's Lotion. Uh, it's a new, uh, no, new York band. Heard of them. It's like uh, hardcore mm. punk, but it, 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 no, I, I guess like hardcore punk influenced. It has um, a lot of like electronic features, mm. so drum machines and oh, stuff. And so cool. They yeah. also have a drummer, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from. Another cool band, Warthog. Yeah, yeah, oh, cool. yeah. 100%. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, I mean, there are so many good there's bands. There's so many. Where to start? It gets where, lost where in my, yeah. Uh, where to stop. Yeah. Rud <laughs> rudimentary Peni, to just mm. mention, uh, like, uh, Oldie Goldie. Yeah, Public um, Acid. It's a really cool band. And also, just like, uh, yeah, all the... Um, like the stuff from from uh, mm. like early '80s uh, U.S. like Washington bands and like yeah I I started I guess I like got into into hardcore punk by listening to Minor Threat so I've been mm. like through all of those nice yeah a minor mm. I kind of like Minor Threat pretty good yeah they, mm. I, I definitely love them and also I mean yeah all the projects they've done after that as well like. And like embrace and rites of spring, I guess like that didn't. But yeah, that same oh. kind of got into that emo scene as well, pretty young. Yeah. On YouTube, <laughs> I mean, not uh, didn't <laughs> didn't uh, catch anything live, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what is your favorite American TV shows or movie? Oh, I was thinking about that question too, and I was like, where to start? And the only one that I came up with was from Canada, so I don't... Canada? Yeah, <laughs> Trailer Park Boys. Oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> but um, as, as I mean, in, yeah. they border each other, so... Yeah. They're very similar. <laughs> my uh, my favorite, uh, favorite American TV show is Gilmore Girls. <laughs> oh, nice. I, uh, that's true. My I mom, she likes Gilmore Girls, <laughs> and I like Gilmore Girls, too. I watch it at least uh, uh, once a year. Yeah. Uh, she definitely, she probably <laughs> watches too. it more than that. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Uh, have awesome. you heard the, have you heard the band Dollhouse? Uh, no. They're out of New York. They're also really good. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, uh, the lead, lead singer there, Michelle, uh, keeps posting videos uh, on Instagram watching Gilmore Girls all the time. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I, I feel, feel connected. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so, um, what is your favorite food? Mm. <laughs> this is, yeah, I, I don't know, I have, yeah, there's so much, and it also depends on the hyper-focus, really, because I have, like, periods of time where I eat like this for a long time, and then I get sick of it, and then I find something new, so oh. I, I don't, it's really hard. Right now, I think it is, like, 
salads, trying to get more healthy. Um, cool. Yeah. So healthy. <laughs> so healthy. Also lying to the. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. No, um, I think I, I, I don't really discriminate in foods. Although I I don't really eat that much meat or fish, but um, mm. I guess my favorite foods would be like uh, tacos mm. or um, nachos or fajitas <laughs> or burritos or no. I'm kidding. Uh, enchiladas. <laughs> Okay, so you definitely like. I can see a theme. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, no, the, it would be like, yeah, mm. I, I love Mexican food. But also, yeah, me too. I love Japanese food. Yeah, I, Korean I, food. I yeah. Norwegian food, occasionally. Now that we're only talking for, about Only it. for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Do you mm -hmm. have a favorite food? Um, prob uh, well, this is what I eat, like, every day. Mm. Bagel, uh, cinnamon raisin bagels toasted with cream cheese. Nice. Is it's that your breakfast? Uh, or lunch? Yeah, or? pretty much. Mm, nice. Like brec breakfast or lunch, I'll eat that. I love ba cinnamon mm. rosin bagels toasted with cream cheese. Oh, I love <coughs> it so amazing. much. I always have a smoothie yeah. bowl for breakfast. That's my go-to. Cool. Mm. Then I like have a cup of coffee and I'm ready to go. Before that, I'm nobody. Do you like yeah. uh, reindeer? Because I ate reindeer here and it was it was weird, but I kind of liked it. Yeah. I mean, I love reindeer. And again, I, I would definitely say it's uh, like being vegetarian. It's not something that I eat a lot and haven't eaten. <laughs> oh yeah, time. I forgot you were but, vegetarian. But I, do, but, but I do remember. I mean, so I think like uh, both reindeer and deer and all of those. Uh, there, it's, it's definitely better than uh, like mm. the mass-produced uh, mm. like cow or pig's uh, meat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for the inspiration, guys. Yeah. But did you try <laughs> reindeer here in Norway? Yes. Where did you go, or like, was it? Um, in? It was. What do you know? Do you remember what it was called? Oh, somewhere in Oslo. It was. It, it was like, on it, like a, something like. Yes. Like Dover. Some. Dover is oh, oh, I think. Yeah. I I, I yeah. actually haven't been there. Oh, we should go. It's really nice. Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> and yeah, let's go. Dude, it was like it was like a bar, and it had reindeer, <laughs> and I ate fries too. Nice. Good. Mm. The fries were amazing, like way better than any American fries. Really? I, wow. There was seasoning on it, and it was amazing. Kiara's yeah. really good at making fries as well. <laughs> Thanks. <Yeah. laughs> Make me fries. Now. now. I mean, I think you really yeah. should, yeah. It's an amazing mm. yeah, you're a fries chef. Yeah. <laughs> fries chef. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what advice would you give to your 11 uh, year old self? Ourselves. That that's a good question. I mean, mm. um, I I think like at eleven I was uh, pretty I was pretty content with uh, my life and uh, everything that was going going on. So I think mm. I would just say like try to just stay eleven for as long as you can. Because I mean, fourteen not so great. Fifteen. I'm I'm not saying that it was like it it, it wasn't bad, mm. but but I I think like at some point I just. Uh, got too preoccupied with mm. doing other things and being outside riding my bicycle and uh, mm. and I wish I could go back to just uh, say that that was yeah. probably like yeah more riding your bicycle yeah skating and uh, just being outside with friends that's uh, what I would say to my 11 year old mm. self you're yeah. doing great keep yeah. keep on the good work keep yeah. up the good work <laughs> I think I would say something that's yeah the same because nice. it's a shift from being being like a kid to being like a teenager so mm -hmm. Maybe you'll feel like you'll have to be more cool or, I don't know, it doesn't Growing really up. matter. Growing up, yeah. But the Just take your time and do whatever you you feel like doing. Yep. And the thing about and growing up, I mean, it's it's kind of a scam because you think it's going to yeah. be so great, but it's just like all <laughs> kinds of responsibility and you have to like pay your bills and wash your clothes and that's like the obvious things. But it's I don't also want responsibility. just kind of like <laughs> being, nah, I, I mean, you just, mm. uh, yeah. Just it's, it's, do it's, you. It's heavy. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. be authentic to yourself and just do whatever you. Yeah. Do you have whatever like, makes you uh, feel good? Do you, Do you feel like you have to like grow up fast, or do you have that sort of? Uh... I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only reason I would want to be older is so I could be in a band and tour and stuff. That mm -hmm. is actually great. Yeah. I recommend that. But that'd be that. the like only reason. Mm -hmm. Like. But you can be in a band now, though. True. 
can. Do you have uh, like do you have friends like your age that play instruments or? Uh yeah, my friend Jane plays drums. We're trying to start a band. Because you're cool. a guitarist, right? Uh yes. Awesome. And you also sing? Yes, right? I'm I'm yeah. doing guitar and singing. We're just trying to find a bassist. That's, oh, that's, that's not so, so hard. You can do that. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we both play the bass. Yeah, yeah. we both play the bass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we should get someone to play the bass. They, they can mm. learn just like easy chords pretty quickly, yeah. right? Yeah. So just force yeah. someone to pick up the bass. <laughs> also, uh, Jaden, if you're watching, hello. Hi, Jaden. From Norway. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're just trying to find a bassist currently. Anyone mm -hmm. that's a bassist and uh, in Delaware, yeah. hello. I think that's going to be the next <laughs> uh, next big thing. I think your band is going to be sick for sure. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I have all the all the good references. Mm. Mm. We're, exactly. Yeah, we're, we have like... Let me think. One, two. We have three songs, I think. No, four, four songs, but none of them are like out yet. And we're, well, we have like half of a four song, so we have like three and a half songs. That's perfect. So whenever yeah, you so want to come and play in Norway, mm -hmm. we'll make it happen. Yeah, cool. for yeah. sure. We have a great scene also right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems cool. So uh, anything to add before we end, end the interview? I don't know. Like, what do you? Uh, is there anything you want to know? And I guess you would have uh, <laughs> written it down in that case. I don't know. You still what haven't see, said anything about your favorite show, so you just kind of. Yeah, I just. Your favorite I TV show. And then I zoned out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> Trail Park Boys. It's a safe. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm, so. Yeah, it was. It was so, really nice meeting you. Yeah. Yeah, you too. It's really cool you want to uh, have us on your, uh, yeah. your YouTube. Yeah, I feel really honored in a way. Yeah. How do you say your name again? Kiara. Sig? Sig. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to Sig and Kiara for joining me today, and thanks to all of you for watching or listening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Spotify. Until next week, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>